Well, Grandpa came over today. See, there's Grandpa. And he's helping with our side of the house by the driveway. Because what happened was water would go into there. Well, it used to be a hole. Now it's uh, cement that's got put in there. And then some uh, driveway patch right there. And there's a, also a pile of, drive, of driveway patch that needs to get put elsewhere. And I've got a place for it. I'm going to put it th uh, after lunch. I'm going to put it there. Um, so anyway, he's helping try to keep our basement drier. And right now, he is putting in some... What is that stuff? Filler. Filler. Like water sealer filler type stuff. And... But now it's time to go eat, so we're going to go eat and then come back. All right there. There you go. So we just found a spider hanging out the window. And there it is, swinging back and forth. When we bought our house, the porch was enclosed, and it looked kind of ugly. There's another little porch hanging out from there. And then there were stairs that came down to there, and it kind of made a mess of our driveway. I kept meaning to fill it with the uh, patch, but I didn't get around to it, so we're going to do that now. And the kids want to help. I got everything patched, and it's ready to go. It has to sit for probably about a month or so before it hardens in there, but it's a little smoother than it was before. Well, I was headed to work, and I found this on the... Uh... <laughs> Switching his head. You like that? Yeah. And I found this on the on the grass, a big huge dragonfly, and I'm just gonna put it over here. Just put it on there, and then we'll just let him fly away when he's ready to fly away. Our tomatoes are finally just starting to ripen, and I've been pick, having to pick them a little on the green side because something in my garden is eating them, which is really aggravating to me. So I'm picking them when they're slightly green so I don't lose them. And I was looking at them, picking tomatoes, and all of a sudden I saw this type of damage. And this is where the leaves are stripped. You can see that back there too. And so I kept looking and looking and looking and what did I find? But an icky tomato hornworm. These are really nasty critters. So I'm just going to pinch off the plant because I don't we need that and I'll go throw him away. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. He's a small one. He's not full size yet. They get a lot bigger than that usually. Just put him over here. And I'm going to look for any more. Oh, there's another one back there. See? Now he's a bigger one. I'm going to snap him off too. Ugh. do not like these critters. They're disgusting. Ugh. Oh, come back here. Alright, so here's this one. Now, yes, they make beautiful butterflies, but I don't like them. Here's a tomato hornworm. There's two of them. You can see the different sizes. And that's what happens when one eats a lot and one hasn't eaten as much. They grow really fast. So I'm going to keep looking for more and make sure that I got all of, all of them off. Past years we've had um, hornworms, but I found out that by planting zinnias, which you can see I plant them right here at the end every year, by planting the zinnias, they attract um, brachinoid wasps, which lay their eggs on hornworms, which prevent them from destroying their crops. But as you saw on those two hornworms, there were no brachinoid wasp eggs, and I don't know if that's because they just didn't find them, or I don't know why. Um, but that's usually why I always have my zinnias right at the end of my tomato rows, is because I want to attract the brachinoid wasps in case I have an infestation with the hornworms. But I guess it didn't work this time, at least not yet. Um, I'll have to be keeping track of my tomato plants every day now to make sure there's no more, because if you've ever had a hornworm, you know they will devastate your tomatoes just like that. I've got a couple pumpkins. There's one in there. I threw them in the compost right there. 
And I've got two pumpkins right there. Yeah, there's one in there and one right there. And then in there, um, are, so there's a couple more, but they're kind of hard to see with all the green stuff growing. There's another really nice pumpkin right in here. And that's on the other side of the fence. That row right there, it's hard to tell, but those are my beans. And if I get a cooler day, it's hot this week. If I get a cooler day, I'll go ahead and pull those out and probably put in some um, fall lettuce and spinach because it's getting to that time of year where you can start putting those in now. My broccoli rob seedlings that I planted uh, last week. There's that one and that one and that one and I got a whole row of them right here. And I'm looking forward to those getting ready to eat. We worked really hard on the basement today. We got a lot of work done. It looks kind of bad there, but it looks a lot better than it did. It was terrible earlier. There was like no room to even move down here. We got a lot of work done. And, well, we still got a little bit left to do, but it's a lot better than it was. We're going to be getting a new furnace this week, so we need to get our basement cleaned up. Uh, it was really, really bad. Charity and Peter worked really hard this afternoon on the basement while I was at work. So I told them that if they, um, well, if we got done by 8 o'clock today, that I'd take everyone to the Price Chopper and we can get one special thing for them. We don't usually buy a lot of special things yeah. for the kids. But um, anyway, they did a really good job. Got a lot of work done. So we are going to head off to Price Chopper now and they're going to pick something out. Well, we're in Price Chopper, and the kids are figuring out what they want. What do you want, John? I saw something, but... What is it? Nothing big. Okay. No, we're not, we're not getting a lobster, but the kids like looking at them. Look at this lobster, Daddy. What's that lobster doing? It's like, I'm a football player. <laughs> okay, mommy got her thing. She got scallops. Uh, they're yes, they're expensive, but you know what? It's a lot cheaper. For happiness. It's a lot cheaper to have a happy mommy than it is to not buy scallops. So anyway, that's what she's getting. Okay. We certainly don't do this very often. Lydia wanted kitties, so we got some kitties. Like I say, it's uh, a cheap help. Two dollars. In here, we got chili granolas. How much are those, Peter? Um, we got these. These uh, were two twenty. Ouch. No, and then four thirty-six, but they got two, four. Well, how many are they? Eight, ten, ten to six, which two. is eight nineteen to four thirty-six, or eight ninety-nine to nine five. Charity and John, what will they choose? Let's keep moving on. Oh, oatmeal. <laughs> no. Lydia. <laughs> oh. Mary wants oatmeal. John was thinking, John was thinking about getting honey buzzers, but that sounds a little scary, though. Uh, I don't know about that one. No, I'll, I'll have to think about that one. John's still working on it here. Yeah. He's price, price comparing. Uh, John's thinking about uh, Fun Pops. Let's see. Is he going to? Uh, yeah, you sure. Okay, uh, he's still thinking. I, I didn't I'm going to keep that in mind. Okay. He's, he's going to keep that in his back pocket in case nothing else pans out. Okay, John has his eyes on ice cream now. Charity is still, uh, she doesn't know. She's thinking. Ice cream, you got the kitties. Okay, Hershey's syrup they're thinking about. What? Do you want this? Or actually, I'm sorry, Price Chopper syrup, not Hershey's. That one's cheaper. Okay, hard decision. Okay, kiddos, you got a couple more minutes. Okay, Charity got ice cream. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. There we are. Like I say, I don't do this very often. Charity gets an extra bonus one because she did such a good job today. And Peter might get an extra one too. It depends on what it is. No, no, this one is cheap. This one is cheap. Uh, Peter got chocolate syrup for a second one. And he just leaves Charity. Charity's checking out the refrigerator section now. Let's see, she says she knows. Is she zeroing in on something? She's thinking. Look at those gears turning. Look at the smoke coming out of those ears. Okay. We finally made a decision on what are these called? Fun Pops. Freeze Pops. Freeze Pops. $2.99. Okay, we're on our way out. We spent $20.24. A lot more than we usually spend. But like yeah, I say, yeah. it was cheap help. It was worth every penny. <laughs> Got to enjoy some chocolate milk before bed. Homemade chocolate milk with the uh, chocolate sauce. Lydia, wa <laughs> Lydia wanted me to show you her kitties that she got. There they are. Oh, bow tie kitties. Are those yummy? Yes, not every day daddy buys you kitty gummy chewies. Buy them too. Buy them Price Chopper. You buy them at Price Chopper, right? Yeah, I did.